You can store flight. Good evening, folks. We're going to take a look at load balancing our PSM servers. We've got two here, 31 and 32. Okay, we're going to load balance them with a HA proxy server, which we have set up here. You can install Linux and add a couple of files. So I've opened, added these tools already, and I've updated and I rebooted the server. So let's first do our PSM configuration stuff that we need to do. I'm going to jump down into the configuration. I'm going to go to PSM session management configuration. We have two PSM servers here. All we're going to do is going to copy that and add PSM server. We're going to go and highlight that. Let them. We're going to copy this one. Let's copy and back up and paste. It's easier to do it this way. We're going to then add the farm onto that and we're going to change that to PSM server farm. So that's going to be the PSM server farm. We're going to change that. We're going to change that to our IP address which is this IP address 36. So we're going to change that. 36. We're going to then go turn down here and you can change that to 36 and you can change that to 36. You can apply that to the configuration and that's our PSM server or PSM farm done. You can apply it, click OK. okay. And we're going to jump down to our Platform management. Let's go to our Windows domain accounts. We're going to change that, manage that. We're going to change that to our PSM farm. Click save. Save that change. Now let's jump down. We're going to go install HA proxy. Paste install. HA proxy will be installed. Yes. It's, H, it's yum install HA proxy minus y, which installs the whole thing without asking yes or no. Best to go do a reboot. Let's so close our session. Let's go check our server reboot. Uh, there's our load balancer. It's going to reboot. Once that is started up, and jump to the next screen, back here. Yeah, putty. No, the putty session that I've saved. I'll get into the root and my password for the server. There we go. And I come back here. We need to make sure that the file report is open. Already there. It's fine. And we're going to reload the proxy, the file. Okay, it's successful. We're going to enable service. Next, HA proxy service. We're going to start the proxy service. That's the proxy service started. Okay, now we're going to do a system status. Yes, it's still running, which is good news. Now we're going to copy the original file to the saved location to cfg backup. Once you've done that, we're going to go to create a new file. We're going to create a new file and you're going to press I to insert. Come back here and copy this as it is. This is my configuration that I'm going to use. I'm going to paste it in there. This is my server IP address. I'm going to edit that. Just IP address because that's not my current server. I'm going to just 
that out. Go back to 192.168.1.36. Escape. Save right and quit. Enter. We're going to go back into the file and explain quickly. Oh, we've got a bit of spacing in there. Okay. We've got our file here. Our global configurations, our front end. This is our front end for the RTP, which is uh, going to be running in TCP mode. We're going to bind to the to the IP address with three, port 3389, and rename is RDP. We're going to time out of one hour. We're going to log into the global log, which is up there. And TCP log as well. We're going to do a TCP request inspect. The delay is two seconds. You know, request cookies, accept RDP cookies, and this is our backend that this refers to. Here is our backend. We're going to run also in TCP mode. We're going to leave balanced these connections. We're going to do a timeout, one hour, timeout of four seconds to connect. Global is logging, options, lo option TCP log, option TCP check, TCP check connection 43389 SSL. And our default server in in turn three seconds rise two seconds four three, and then we're gonna have our server what server we're gonna call server 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 one and server two IP addresses port and the same weight you can change the weight if you've got a smaller server in there in your group as well. But that's our basic settings that we're gonna run right and quit to save. Then we're going to go back to here, we're going to go to system control, we're going to restart the proxy server connections, restart, and we're going to check our proxy, proxy's running, if you need to, depending, you might need to run this command, if it doesn't start up, you can run that command, and System control, we go back to status, and that should stay running. That is our platform configured. Now, that is, so we're going to go ahead and use a client that uses that IP address. Now load, go to administrator, we're going to go to local Windows domain. We're going to try and use the server. Let's see if we can connect. Connect, test. What is, uh, there's nothing saved in there. Let's go back to administrator. For well, that server administrator, local domain, Windows domain, the server we're going to use, connect, test, account. There we go, connect. There we go. Connecting, there's going to push in through 36, which is our load balancer. Connecting to 102 which is server 2, which is 102. That's going through our load balancer. There we go. We're working through our load balancer, which is running HA proxy. Basically, HA proxy is a reverse proxy, which is done. And that all looks very pretty now with Subarc running through an HA proxy server. And that is simple configuration. Close that, so we're going to close out. And that is our load balancer running through our prox load balancer, which is a reverse proxy. Okay, that's all folks. This is basic configuration. Thank you. Good night.